sometimes you want to have shapes that are kind of more complex than just the basic things that we could make or you want to build stuff and for example polyline and polygon gave you a lot of power but they were built with straight edges sometimes maybe you want to have some of those plus the ability to have some curved lines and whatnot to build something that's that's a significantly more complex shape and to do that you can define a path now Scala FX includes two types that allow you to create paths the first one so I've made a copy of our template here it has all of these shapes inside of it the first one is called SVG path now SVG stands for simple vector graphics and when we create one of these we're just going to make a new SVG path and then we need to set a value in it so its content is set equal to a string and the string has a particular format that is used for defining simple vector graphics now we're not going to go into all the details of simple vector graphics but the basic idea is that you start with uh, something you know alphabetical that tells it a kind of a command and then you give it some of the geometry for that command so M moves to a location so I'm going to do a move to 10 comma 10 so that will basically kind of it's like shifting a pen to 10 10 and then from there I want to draw a line so I'm going to draw put an L for line and I want to draw that line down to 10 and let's go for I don't know, 190 or something like that. After that, and I could have more multiple lines or whatnot, turns out you can actually use the quadratic and cubic curve type things that we've looked at. So I'm going to include one of those. Uh, I'm going to include a cubic curve and for the cubic curve here, first you give it the control point one, control point two, and then the end point. Because the start is wherever your previous move left you off at. So in this case, if I want, let's say, this to go out to 190 in X and 190 in Y as the first control point, the next control point is 190 in X and 10 in Y and then I want to end back at the beginning at 10 10 content equals a list and we'll add in SVG there Let's see if I got all that right there we go so it did a move to 0 to 10 10 and then a line down to 10 190 and then a cubic curve around and that cubic curve had control points here and here so in this case the cubic actually looks rather quadratic but that gives you a simple example of the type of thing that you can do with the an SVG path you can also build a path using the type path so when I create a path I am going to just say new path and then I can add things into the elements of this path. So path dot elements. I can append things to it. And there are a number of different commands. If we look at the API, they're each represented by types. And so if we look at path element, it turns out that path element is the super type. So we have an arc to, a cubic curve to, an H line to, a line to, a move to, a V line to, as well as the, so we have the two curves, and then also a close path here, which will basically head back to uh, wherever that, that part of the path began. Okay, so I want to just use a few of these to build up a little bit of a path that we can display here. So first I'm going to do a move to so I'm gonna make a move to and let's see how about I go to 
210 in X and uh, 10 in Y. Path dot elements plus equals. Then I want to draw a line from there, line two. And let's see, how about we have this go down so I'm going to stay at 200, well actually if I'm going to do it that way, let's do a V line 2. So this is going to draw a vertical line. So all I do is I specify the Y value of my vertical line. So I want to go, our other shape here ended at 190, we'll go to 210. Then I'm going to do an H line two and draw back over kind of to uh, to the left edge of the window so the H line is going to give me just a horizontal line so all I'm changing is the X axis and the Y axis stay, stays fixed. I could draw a regular line two if I'm going to vary for example both the X and the Y value so we're currently at X of 10 Y of 210 I'm going to take this to an X of, oops, line 2, an X of 210, Y of 290. Other things that we could make were the cubic curve, the quadratic curve, there is an arc 2. Uh, the arc 2 actually has some rather complex uh, arguments that I actually don't feel like spending the time going into here. How about we make this a quadratic curve? So path dot elements plus equals, since I have a cubic curve up here, we'll do a quad curve, QUAD curve two, which is what distinguishes it, the path element from the actual shape itself. This quad curve two is going to start at wherever this was, much like what we were talking about up here, you kind of have a pen that you're drawing with. The move to allows you to pick up the pen. The quad curve, the first value I'm going to give is the, the one control point, and the second value I'm going to give is where it ends. I'm actually going to put the control point at the very corner of this window, just because that could be interesting to see. And then I want to have it end kind of back close to the beginning. An X, let's go with 590 and a Y of 10. So that'll kind of be the top right corner. And then I'm going to close off the path. So I'm going to add a new close path to the end of that. and add that into our scene and run it. Looks like I typed things correctly. Okay, so we first moved to this point and then there was a vertical line to here, a horizontal line to here. I did a regular line that's this diagonal here and then there is a quadratic curve that goes from there. It has a control point down in this corner and then it pulls up so that it has an end point here and then we call close path, which closes this off. So you can see here that you know this basically makes kind of an arbitrary shape, and you have a lot of capabilities as to what you do with this shape if you are willing to put in the time to, to create something that looks exactly the way that you want to.